an artist, I know people are very curious about what makes an artist tick. There are three questions that happen to be my favorite. And the funny thing is, I was asked the first one today. Now, I am not going to misinform you when I answer your questions, but I am going to think a little on the answers. My first favorite question is, how long did it take for you to paint that? Funny thing is, I was asked that this very night. Now, that's a question that most artists will avoid answering. They're going to give you some kind of misinformation. For example, well, I've been painting for 10 years, so it took me truly 10 years to paint that. That's how I learned to answer that because this is what happened to me once. I answered the question honestly. I'll answer it for you honestly today. Honestly, these two paintings took me maybe a couple of hours each. Very different. That doesn't mean that they started and stopped in two hours. Maybe this one, but I don't remember. This one was done in 2004. This one was done this year at a contest where I had to paint and finish painting it in that weekend. And I know I did this one in two hours. But this one, I don't know how long it's going to take me to finish it. I keep starting it. I keep stopping it. I keep picking it up, putting it down, putting another color on, taking the color off. I can't decide if I'm finished with this yet. I don't know how long it's going to take me. All I know is that I think I started it in April. I think. But I'm not sure. And when I'll finish it, I don't know. So really, it's not to give you misinformation. It's that I honestly don't know the answer to that question. Another reason why I like to give misinformation to that question is because there's a big difference between knowing that this painting took me 10 years to get to this point, which is the truth, or two hours that it took me to paint it. Because that leads me to question number two. How much is that painting? Oh boy. Artists have to figure out how we're going to charge for a painting. It's not just materials, it's our time. It's all the classes, all the training, all the things we've read, all the museums we've visited, all the influences that we've had to get to this point. I can give you the last 10 years of my life in this painting when I created it. There's no way I could have done this if I had not taken Julie's workshop, Baruch's classes, Ismael's classes, if I hadn't seen work by Van Gogh, read books on Rothko. It's amazing how much it takes to create something that an artist likes in the first place and wants you to like too. So when you ask how much it is, please don't react too much like you want. How much? It's an original. Think of it that way. It's one of a kind. Think of it that way. Don't go back and think, well, how long did it take you to do that? I'm going to wind up making $3 an hour. <laughs> Those are two questions you should avoid asking an artist. The third question is my favorite. Hey, Angeline, you're an artist. You have wonderful stuff. I have charity XYZ happening this Saturday. Could you donate a piece of art to our charity? You know, I'm very appreciative that you want my art. I'm very honored. But did you know there is a law in the tax rules that started in the 1960s. I learned this recently reading a book about the artist Rothko. Thanks, Bill. 
<laughs> about the artist Roth, though, and you know what, this is abstract enough. <laughs> Back then, the tax laws changed. An artist cannot write off their taxes what the value is of the painting. If you buy the painting and you donate the painting, you can write off what you spent on the painting. However, the artist is only allowed to write off the materials it cost to make the painting. So let me see. I have a piece of fabric that I could probably never ever get again. I have it on a piece of wood. That was pretty cheap because it was a recycled piece. And I have wax on this. And I have some oil colors on it. So maybe in supplies, if I really break it down, I might have about $30 worth of supplies. Is that really fair to an artist? Oh, and this one? I think the canvas was maybe $7. Maybe there's a total of $10 in here. This one has a lot of wax, maybe 30, 40. The one on the chair, maybe 20. So think about it when you ask an artist. There's a better way of saying all three questions, and you'll still get an answer that will not disinform you. Question number one How long have you studied to create that painting? Pretty good. How long did it take you to study to make that painting? Question number two. What is a fair price for your work? And if it really is too high and you're really interested, it's okay to negotiate a little bit, but be respectful of each other. And the third one about the charity donation, hey, Angeline, could you please donate a piece of art and we will give you half of the proceeds from the sale. So we both win 50-50. And those are the questions you should be asking. The other ones? I'm